Welcome back to Resident Evil 4 and Aspie Let's Play on the GameCube. In the last part, we finished up uh, some ch some parts of Chapter 4 and 1, I actually don't remember, because with me today are, Cor are my buddies Corb and Gerdet. Huzzah! Hello! Welcome! So, I decided that since... This this minigame is such a bitch to play on the GameCube. It really is. It just I wouldn't. It, it makes me want to play the Wii version of the game because in the Wii version of the game, you don't have to play it six times. You only have to play it like twice if you're good enough. Right. Oh God, the house just disappeared. Why? <laughs> um, no. when you get the way the minigame works, when you get five consecutive hits on the cardboard cutouts of the Ganados, uh, the Salazar thing appears in the back, and you can shoot that for 500 points. Oh, alright, so, what do you actually, what, what's the point of this, uh, minigame? If you get, well, you get awarded, uh, bottle caps, you'll be seeing the bottle caps at the end of the part, but you also get, uh, money as a reward, and money is always nice in this game. Oh, alright. Seem to have problem with those vertical uh, moving zombies. Uh, not zombies. What are they called? I'm sorry. Ganados. Ganados. Uh, the vertical moving ones or the horizontal moving ones? Yeah. So, sorry. The ho the horizontal ones. Yeah. Th those are uh, those are a bitch to hit. Those are really, really are. So are you trying to 100% this? 100% the whole game, or just the mini game? The mini game right now. No. Trying to get every hit. I'm I'm just trying to survive. Survive it. Because uh, you need to get at least 3,000 points in order to pass. And see, I only got 3450 in that round. You got to hit the Salazar token as many times as humanly possible. Oh, okay. So that means that you have to. You have to keep getting a lot of the cardboard cutouts, and then you still hit the back. The thing in the back. Yeah, see, I just missed right there. That's um, it's, that's never good. It's, I think, like, if you miss one, if you miss a shot when you got like four consecutive hits, that, it's just such. A, it feels like such a kick in the balls. Really <laughs> that's because it is a kick in the balls. I think that actually makes the dubs appear when, when you got a streak going but you miss. Uh oh. <laughs> All those flying feathers everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no, he had to reload. Also, yeah, you can't shoot Ashley. I don't, I, I don't shoot Ashley in this, actually. Which is which is a good thing, because that would... You get minus points, I take it? You get minus 1,000 points, and that can, oh, God. That can ruin you. Oh, oh that... definitely. Jeez. You hear that? Where did you first see Resident Evil 4? Was that Brain Scratch Pounds? Uh, no, that's not where I first saw it, but it is where I first actually started watching it. I, I used to watch Resident Evil 4 when my friend uh, Anthony would play it, so I used to see him play not this, but I, I just like the first few levels I saw about 10 times at least. Have you ever played the game yourself, Corp? Um, yeah, but I didn't get very far because I was just terrible. I, I just couldn't get used to the controls, so I, I borrowed it from, a, from him and I played it for a couple days and I was like, nope. So. But, I, I mean, I, I, I don't know, I just never really cared for the Red, uh, playing with Resident Evil series, at least. I like watching videos about it, I just, I don't like the controls for it. What, well, have you ever played the earlier Resident Evil games? No. Okay. No, I have not. Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah. Uh, the original, wait, the original Resident Evil was for the PlayStation 1, right? Uh, yeah. I think I might have played that then. But that, but in those games, in the other classic Resident Evil games, they all had fixed cameras. In this game, it's an over-the-shoulder camera. Over-the-shoulder, yeah. Makes it incredibly different, and also pissed off a lot of Resident Evil 4 fans, as Gerdet might remember from Brain Scratch Com's commentary. Yeah. I know the original game was like, it would, they, it would be like security camera type. They weren't security cameras, but that was the type of angle fixed it Fixed camera. Yeah, just like they would always be the same in every room. It would never change. It would never change once you left the room. It'd be a different. It would be the. It would be a different angle, but it would be you know. It would always be the same, no matter how many times you go out in and out of that room. Mm. 
Oh yeah, I fuck up here. <laughs> I accidentally picked the wrong game. Yeah, you hit the wrong game. Oh, there are two different game types here? Yeah, there's game A type, there's game A and game B. Uh, I, what's game A? Oh, I already played game A. That that gets you the first uh, round of bottle caps. This is the second round of target practice, actually. I'm, I'm getting bottle caps for the second row. That's why I need to be A, uh, B. Oh, okay. Okay, because I, uh, I was wondering... It what do you mean, like, the bolt-action rifle actually gets you more points if you're uh, accurate enough with it? Yeah, but the the thing with the minigame is that if you use the bolt-action rifle to hit the cardboard cutouts, it doesn't let you keep a streak. Uh, so the Salazar token never appears. I, f I figured that out uh, during this playthrough, actually. Oh, you were close to hitting Ashley there. I was like, oh no. I already told you, nothing happens to it. <laughs> nothing, uh, nothing happens to our sweet, sweet Ashley. Uh, I wanted to see Ashley Cardboard get obliterated by a bolt action rifle. <laughs> Mine is 2,000 points. <laughs> Salazar! Holding up a pretty good streak so far here, clown. Do you do it this time? Do, do, do? I think I do it this time, yeah. Yeah, because you've been really going on a rampage. Pop! No, it's just... I, I just couldn't take it. My, my... The first time I did target practice for this Let's Play, I just felt so embarrassed because I thought I was going to do the whole thing in one shot, you know? Yeah, and then you realize, oh wait, this is so hard trying to get all those points. Ugh. How many tries did it take you for the first time again? Uh, I think it took me eight, eight or nine tries. And that was, that was to get all six. God. I, I can I can fully understand if people if you would prefer to play the Wii version of the game, but if you play the Wii version of the game, you should play it with a classic controller instead of the Wii uh, instead of the, the Wii, Wii remote if you want if you want the classic game feel. I think that's how you get the full package of the original game. This game also released on the PlayStation. 2? Yes, it was. It was released on the PS2 before it was released in the GameCube on, on the Wii. Oh, on the Wii. Oh, and GameCube came first, correct? Yep. GameCube's 2005, and I think PS2 released it in 2007, and then the Wii released it in 2008 or 2009. The way I remember the controls, it seems like they would probably be easier on the Wii or PlayStation 2, depending if you use the Wii mode, not the, not the Wii mode, but the classic controller or not. I have heard that the Wii mode makes the game easier than it's supposed to be. Really? Yeah. Because, because so, the, the Wii mode. Yeah, the Wii mode. Because there's a limit to how fast Leon can move the cursor. But with the Wii mode, you can move from one end of the screen to the other. To, to the other, yep. More precision. More precision and also a bigger hitbox. And the 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 cursor that they use actually turns red when you have a target. So oh, okay. you you always know that you're gonna get a shot. Oh, okay. That's that that kind of does sound like it makes the game overly. Easy. I'd be a lot more. Now, how many than points do you need? Thirty-five hundred. Uh, you need you need at least three thousand. But actually, there was this there was this one thing I did uh, during this playthrough. You guys might have noticed. I think I shot for two thousand points, but they gave it to me anyway. That I don't know what that was. Did you guys see that? Oh yeah, when you got like twenty out of twenty, or or twenty-five out of twenty. Oh shit! Yeah. Fucking Salazar. Ah, uh, so you're pretty much you were kind of like I already know this is kind of over there because you missed that. I mean this round. Well, obviously I fuck up this round because there's still a lot of yeah, video left. The yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See what? Like, the they're laughing at huh? <laughs> it, it seriously looks like you're supposed to actually get all 25 targets. You are supposed to get all 25 targets, I think. And that seems to be a bit more important than your score. Um, maybe. I, I, I haven't had the patience to experiment with that in a while. Right. No, is it pretty? Do you have the? If you hit the Salazar with the bolt action, you get more points, or? No, you you can hit him with the pistol too, but it's. But it's just easier. It's really hard to hit him with the pistol. Oh, if you okay. Are, if you watch my first uh, target practice playthrough, I get so pissed off that I just start <laughs> taking. 
uh, pot shots <laughs> at the solid bar. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. If, if, what, if what you're doing this, always use the bolt action rifle to take out. What exactly? Sorry, but what exactly is the solid bar? Like a gem? In in the mini game? Yeah. No. Yeah. I can't tell what it is. It's um. It's it's a cardboard cutout, just like the other ones. Oh yeah, but yeah, but what is it? Like uh, um. What is the Salazar exactly? No, oh, Sal no, Salazar is a is a character in the game. He's he's one of the main antagonists. Oh, that that oh, I, I, it looked like a diamond to me. What am I? Thinking? Well, it looks like a diamond, but he Welcome. definitely has a character model. Though. All right, second row complete, twenty five thousand gold. It's a beautiful nice. Thing. And I'm also gonna show off the bottle caps here, so you guys get to hear the uh, the sound effects that they include. Leon with a rocket launcher. <laughs> he never actually Stand he back. never actually says that during the game though. It's weird. Don't worry, Ashley. I'm coming for you. Oh god. So these are sound bites that aren't actually in the game. Don't worry, Ashley. I'm that for one you. actually I'm is. You can hear that at the end of chapter three one. Ada. Uh, that one. Yeah, yeah, Ada. That, that's that's not in the game. Very, oh God! Very appropriate for Ashley. <laughs> so yeah, because she's so totally useless in this game. She's a. I mean, that's her point. She's a bird. And... And Lewis never actually says that in the game. It's such a great line too. Leon, now. Yeah, look at uh, Miss Ada Wong, sex object extraordinaire. Look at her holding that pistol sideways, implying that's cool. She's a gangster. All right, moving on to the second row. Don Jose means behind you, stupid, in mm -hmm. Spanish. That means enough, you son of a bitch. Yep. <laughs> that means a stranger. It's a stranger! <laughs> A lot of this is pretty basic Spanish. That's that means, uh, there he is. And Doctor Salvador has no speaking lines. He's just awesome. What that does that means mean? I'm going to kill you with a chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> the Bella sisters, Spanish for the beautiful sisters. That means I'm going to kill you with a chainsaw twice. I'm gonna rip off your legs and then rip off your head. That's what that means. <laughs> Doors that fade into black. Anyway, guys, this has been a post commentary update uh, from over on Cloud Nine's uh, RE4. Thank you for watching and be safe, everybody. Yep, thank you for having us, Cloud. Yeah, no problem, guys. Thanks for coming on. Minigames suck. <laughs> <laughs>